up everybody it's titanic feet jack and i'm back at you with an early review today but before we get into today's sneaker i need a couple things from you i need you guys to hit that like button on today's video i also need you guys to sub up to the channel if you haven't already or if you're new to the channel and do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i upload here on this channel okay this sneaker has not yet released in the u.s yet i believe it's gonna release on april the 11th so gonna release next week at the time of recording this video you see a regular orange or uh, orange and white nike box you see that box tag i'm gonna read it for you it says nike don't glow premium and the color is white onyx coat purple and khaki this is a pair for the so US size 14. Uh, I'm not sure what the retail on these are going to be as I fold over the box top and you see that blue lot stamp right there. And you see you have regular white tissue paper, rough on one side, smooth on the other. And look down in the box, you do have your YCM sticker with the lines in it. And that's pretty much everything you get with the box. So let's bring on the sneaker. Here we go, guys. We have the Nike Donk Low. Sets a bun. Uh, this sneaker uh, is a representation of Japanese culture. It is a celebration that they do in February that transitions into the spring part of the year. But before we get into the sneaker, we're going to make sure you treat it with a can of that rejuvenator stain repellent. Because this sneaker has some nice premium material on it. You're going to aim it at the sneaker in a well-ventilated room. And make sure you're about a few inches away. And spray evenly across. And make sure you are in a well-ventilated room like I said. Because these are some nice sneakers. And I don't want to get them stained. So make sure you get that rejuvenator uh, shoe repellent. It protects from dirt and water. And if you want to save some money, use that code Titanic Feet Jack, which is down below. Oh, you're looking at it here on the screen. Use that code Titanic Feet Jack to save yourself some money on some rejuvenated products. Now, like I was saying, the uh, Japanese culture that this sneaker is about is every year in February, around the 3rd of February, if I'm correct. In this transition into the springtime of the year, it's a festival and they they do their thing Japanese style. So we're going to get into the sneaker. We have several different colors and materials on this sneaker. We're going to start with the overlay and the, uh, the lace eyelets. It's like a nice soft uh, nubuck type material in like a khaki colorway. Looking at your swoosh, you have an onyx purple color swoosh trimmed in gold. Right behind it, you have uh, like a, a dark tan color on your quarter panel and it is that Craig leather. You do have some brown suede, thick grain of suede going around your mud guard and you do have an embroidered gold swoosh right there on the uh, mud guard and you have an embroidered item right here on the back he has that little embroidered item right there it's a great horn master or ushi oni in japanese culture and now we're going to look at the midsole the midsole is a sail colorway and you have a dirty looking translucent bubblegum color at the very bottom of the midsole which leads to the outsole you have a, like a dirty bubblegum looking outsole it's translucent you can see Nike branding on here look at the heel of the sneaker looking at the ankle collar you do have Nike embroidered on here in gold on top of a nice brown uh, suede material you also have some leather going on here as well and you do have that nice little grand new book going on at the very bottom in that khaki material and going around your ankle padding you do have some brown leather and it's cracked you have that brown cracked leather try to give you guys a good look at that let me adjust the light on it see if i can give you guys a better look you have that brown cracked leather going right there and you do have a uh, 
a purple swoosh and you got that gold back and behind it and you can see closely the crack level on your quarter panels you have more of that khaki little short brand a new buck on your uh overlay and your eye lace eyelets and you have more of that chocolate brown nice grain of suede on here nice premium materials you got your sail color midsole with that translucent dirty looking bubble gum at the very bottom and you know this is my favorite part of the sneaker the toe box you do have crack leather on the toe box but the pattern is a little different than the quarter panels it's uh looks a little bigger or I'm not sure if that's correct, but it looks a little different than what it is on the quarter panel. And you come factory lace with some white t-shirt laces. And you do have additional laces. You have the purple. And with the laces, you do have gold tips. Let's see if they say okay, something. I'm back. The laces don't say anything. The lace tips, that is, they just sparkle. You do have a nylon tongue, chocolate brown colorway. And you do have a woven patch sail colorway, gold Nike branding. And you do have that uh, purple piping going around there. Look on the back side of the uh, woven patch. You do have your little writing. And you do have a purple sock liner. Nice. And let's see if I can get you guys a look at the... Uh, well, let's get this out of here. It comes stuff with tissue. Now let's see, can we get a good look at that sizing tag so we can see when these were produced September 8 2022 until November 4 2022 so you had about a couple of months of production with these and for the insoles let's see do they come out yes I'm gonna have to oh no the insoles are kind of stuck in here I don't want to really damage my shoe but uh I seen a video already that had them. I'm going to show you a clip after I show you the inside. But the insoles in here are pretty neat as well. So, uh, sizing on these go true to size. I believe these are already loaded up on the Nike sneakers app. Maybe that will be a shock drop. Maybe it won't. Just stay tuned to your, uh, your Nike uh, sneakers app or you can just follow me on Twitter sometimes I retweet things when it comes to the releases of sneakers but this is the Nike Donk Low Sensor Bun early review let me know your thoughts on the sneaker or will you be trying to get these when they do release on the sneakers app on April the 11th I believe so with that being said that's the end of the video like I always tell you if you can help somebody get a sneaker help them get that sneaker because you never know but it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.